What is going on, folks? This is something that we got to talk about. I'm talking to my black brothers and sisters out there, but I'm going to talk to my black men out there today. We got to talk. And I go more into where we are now, and we'll talk about how we got there, maybe on uh, part two of this. But goodness, it's just annoying that there's no peace for for men nowadays. Black men, you know, when I think about us, there's two characters, actually three <laughs> characters in the Bible that made me think of the black man. Actually more than that, but, but you know what I think of first? I think of Adam. That's who I think of. I think of Adam, where is he was put in a garden and given instruction by God to do X, Y, and Z. The blue collar work. And I see that we get introduced for the first time before we get introduced to shame before we get introduced to embarrassment even before we get introduced to anything that we might recognize nowadays we get introduced to depression I'm going to let that breathe for a minute because there are a lot of men out there who can literally pinpoint the time in their life, the moment in their life when they just started feeling down. Not where they want to be career-wise. Feel like they got too much going on and, and try to figure out the business. Try to figure out the job and start the business on the side. Trying to build something from scratch. And through all that, if you're trying to do something, take on something great, being given a level of responsibility with your gift, and you're met with depression. The depression of not having friends help you. The depression of having family around that are seeing you drowning and not even throwing you a floater device the depression of why are you going to obstacles and, and difficulties in life and even if people out here that listen to this don't even read the bible you can at least acknowledge the fact that in this book there's a man that is given a responsibility and all he's surrounded by is individuals or entities, not even humans. He's surrounded by animals that nobody can help him with his type of work. And God is just sitting back and we don't have to even use that, right? We can say a father is sitting back watching his son trying to find help out of everything to no avail and he just keeps working and keeps clocking in and keeps going about his business and doing what he got to do and and God got to a point where it's like I'm going to put him to sleep because he ain't 
smile like you used to. I'm gonna put him to sleep because his vibe's off. I'm gonna put him to sleep because I don't know if he can make it another day under these conditions. And I looked at the black man right now, and the black man right now is literally looking at everybody that is telling him what he needs to do to get back on his feet, but not even understanding the condition that he's in. Not only do we got to deal with other cultures and other folks from different backgrounds saying X, Y, Z about him, he got to hear his own woman, women in his community, telling him he ain't nothing. Hearing his own kids, his own mom, his own significant other, his siblings, the workforce, the business world, the government, the police department, the legal department. The hospitals. All of these industries, all of these institutions are telling him hey, he ain't nothing. And the thing is, I want you guys to understand this, is that the only time he gets cheered on is when he's entertaining. Because when he's entertaining and somebody's tied to the win and tied to the sport, they get a return on investment. I look at the black man right now and the black man right now is depressed as a body of people. Depressed because who can we turn to for help? Not the help that people think we need. But the help that we definitely need. Now God looks at Adam and puts him to sleep and says he needs to help me. Adam never asked for a helpmate because Adam had never met a human before. Only point of reference of he having anybody that could be a potential helpmate is what he was surrounded by and it was animals. Beast. Birds. But no one like him. And when God gave him Eve and he got a helpmate, Adam thought things were on the up and up. Adam thought things were on the up and up. And one thing a lot of y'all put blame on Adam and said, Adam is the reason why Eve sinned because he should have been paying attention to her. And what you fail to mention is that all Adam ever knew how to do was work. So even though she came around, it didn't change his work. He still was putting in work and she was wandering around. He had been given an assignment by God to make sure that you maintain this garden. So having to 
lead and make sure that things were taken care of. He wasn't used to that. There are many men out there right now that are trying to build an empire and they got somebody and get no help. That person is roaming around, getting involved in the situation, involving themselves with snakes, involving themselves with forbidden fruit. Whole time, man, just trying to put in some work and try to figure this out. See, it's amazing. No one is rocking with you when you're building stuff from scratch. Even from a cooking perspective. When they see you in there and they see you getting down to the bare ingredients of a recipe, ain't nobody in the kitchen. There ain't no sense, ain't no smell, ain't no aroma in the air. No one's in the kitchen. But as soon as it reaches the level of getting into an oven, as soon as it gets onto the stove, as soon as it's wrapping up to be done, everybody shows up in the kitchen. Eve listened to a snake, and a lot of you women out there are listening to the snakes as well. You listen to everybody say everything about the black man. Snakes. You listen to them folks that benefit off of you not speaking life into your man. They benefit off of you being on different pages, pages of your man. They benefit off of you and your man being separated. There are bodies of folks that benefit off of us not being on the same page. snake was no different a wise snake said if I can get them on different pages I can cause some issues and concern and that's one of the toughest things I tell you out there fellas every at the heart of every addiction at the heart of every toxic thing in this world isolation is the number one piece when men, we isolate from our other brothers out there and we don't come together and it's a versus, but we isolate from family and friends, even though these friends and family haven't been consistently helping us. So we said we ain't going to deal with anybody. It just makes it easier for the devil to move in. Even when couples isolate, they're not getting it on. There's no affection. It makes it easier for the devil to move on, move in on that individual and entice them with something or tempt them with something that they weren't even thinking about until they were deprived of it. When Eve sinned by listening to the devil's lies and notice something that a lot of y'all miss is that when the the serpent was talking to Eve. Not once did that serpent mention Adam at all. Didn't mention him not one time. Didn't mention him not one time. Didn't say, whereas Adam... He loved the fact that they were separated. They never came to both of them when they were united front. He came when Eve was away. He didn't even come to Adam when he was by himself. That entire time, that serpent never tempted Adam before Eve came around. So Adam was feeling some type of way when she ate the forbidden fruit and she ended up giving it to him did he even know where it came from did he see her get it from that tree I mean Adam was down there he didn't try all the trees while he was in the garden so how would he have known 
So he eats the fruit that Eve gives to him. And literally, both of their eyes are open. Adam did not act for Eve. And he has Eve. And Eve sins. And the crazy thing about it is, now God is angry at Adam for being a poor leader and puts the responsibility of Eve's actions on Adam. And history has never been the same ever since. Eve got her punishment. Adam got his punishment. The serpent got his punishment. But here's something that you guys are missing. Is that Adam's punishment that he had to work harder. When he already was feeling overwhelmed before Eve came. I look at the situation right now with black men right now. They might not feel that they are getting necessary help from the women. They're not getting help from the men in the society. And you know what? To be perfectly honest, they're not helping themselves. Some of us out there in the atmosphere, you put yourself last every single day do your very best to figure things out but what helps you we're in a condition right now that we're in because we're so separated men don't know who's the friend who, who's the foe I mean I saw the whole Young Dolph situation and went back to his hometown and didn't leave again. We as black men out there don't know who the Judas is. We don't know who the Peters are. We don't know who is who. So there's a level of paranoia. There's a level of putting that over trust in that one friend we think is the real deal only for that friend to let us down and black men are looking around got everybody telling him he ain't nothing imagine being here in this life ladies and everywhere you turn there's somebody blaming you or blaming your situation on you. Where you are, how you got into it, they're blaming it on you. 